All right, into night four we go. How many will be lit? Okay. Ooh, I don't like that uh, that we have a hunter coming in immediately. This is going to be a little rough for our uh, our caster here. Uh, can you even make it to both of these? You can. All right. Well, we got lucky then. We have the range, but not the rest. Yeah, hunters is uh, it's not what I was looking for, but that's okay. We'll we'll do our best. Distinguish you. Center here. Okay, let's run back and then we will uh let's get in. I wanna I want more of a mobility weapon, honestly. Also, the, the visibility here is annoying. Like the fact that there's a hunter, crouching tiger, hunter dragon here thing, this is all of this is very actually annoying. The vision issues are gonna be uh, are gonna be big, I think, unfortunately. And I don't want to go too far back. So we'll stay somewhere like this, and then nothing to do over here for the moment. All right. Okay, we're taking too many hits on our melee. I'm gonna need to need to deal with that. This side is actually looking a little scary, if I'm being honest. I think I'll put it over here just because we have the most potential to get some good coverage. Uh, let's see. If I do... Two, two there is not great, but... Gives us two isolated targets, and then I'm going to be falling back anyways. Now, over here, I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a pretty solid position. The they're really going to need to tone down the the vision here. Uh, unfortunately, I I love the idea of what they're going for here, but not being able to see all of these targets is just uh, it's too much. It's too much of a problem. That hunter is off. Yeah, that hunter is in the mist. Wait, is it? Why? Did I used to be able to... Oh, you can now mouse over things that are in the mist. That's an interesting new development. Uh... Do I think that we need to transfer you over? It's probably the smart play. I think our melee can probably handle it handle things on that side on their own. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the approach that they need to take, uh, Squeak. Um, they, they need a bit more transparency. I mean, I love the visuals. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, we actually have a real problem here. <laughs> Houston, we have a real problem with these hunters. Because uh, they're just they're just arriving and killing. Do we have vampirism on you? Should I have picked up vampirism? We do not have vampirism on you. Alright, we're gonna need to figure out a plan then. I'm gonna have to do some hit and run tactics here, I think. Uh Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, Cassie is not having a good time. Uh so we're going to need my my plans of reinforcing have been foiled. So, let's just uh Let's just get over here and big hit on you. Oh, I can't get the kill there. I, if I get the kill, I end up stuck all the way over there. We also have an elite hopper. I think Cassie Cassie's in a lot of trouble because this elite hopper is coming in a bit, but we'll see. Now, this elite was very kind to us. Uh, thank you, elite, for 
putting yourself in such a terrible position. And then, unfortunately, this elite we can't do much with. Uh, I think... We just have to put that over there, I think. I hate that that wasn't a kill. Uh... Did we not pick up Thrifty on you? We did not. Okay. Well, I may just have to spend a bit more aggressively here, but... <sighs> Energetic... This runner has mirror shield, which is not great. How much can I get with like a death ray here? That's not terrible. Okay. But yeah, things are uh, things are not great at the moment. God, this is a lot of hunters. Just, just for the record, not that I, uh, not that I'm one to complain, but <laughs> this is just a lot of hunters. Uh... Where, what is this thing doing? Not coming in. It's really weird. Uh, okay, so we can't get this section over here. I think. I think I just do this again. Uh, that was really nice, actually. Let's get rid of you, and then I think just because this one is charged, I'll uh, I'll let it go, and then we're gonna have work to do, though, for sure. Let's just if I run you in, ah, eh, you can run far enough back. Famous last words, right? I'm gonna spend the mana because who knows if uh what are you 300 health oh can't quite get there on you okay we need to make sure that everything dies uh i'm wondering if i can just blow this guy up with the scepter let's, let's see how we do here 799 to 1000. Yeah, I guess. That's the hybrid build. <laughs> All right, and then we need to we do need to spend two actions on our retreat. And we'll just blow that guy up and everyone should be relatively safe. Ooh, we do have a hunter here. Cassie, are you going to take 20 damage from the hunter? Have I made a terrible mistake? You probably are. Because do they have piercing? They have 10% resistance reduction. We may get very close to death there, but uh, I don't know that there's much I could have done, except probably better target selection. Ah, that's worrisome. That's worrisome. So here's the question. You have four for two turns. You will survive. I think I'm probably going to have to invest in a temple. <laughs> Go figure. Just going to take some of these, these low-hanging fruit baddies. And then we'll, we'll come over here to support. Realistically, uh, Cassie is not going to make it anywhere near. Yes, that, that, is, that is correct, Squeak. Uh, they can indeed target buildings instead. Let's see, I think... I'm going to have to spend some mana here for sure. This thing is a problem. I'm going to blow that up with, with someone else next turn, and I think... I think we just do that. It got a lot of hunters out of the uh, out of the equation, which I think is uh, is good for business. Get rid of you, and then if I move over to here, can I just like is this a kill? 
Yep, the death ray was desirable. All right, you're definitely dead, right? And there's there's probably nothing else over here. All right. Good thing mirror shield doesn't damage, uh, doesn't doesn't cause problems with uh with ballista. That would be very very sad. Okay, are you gonna get over here in time? I think you're gonna be close, but you're gonna fail by one block. Hilarious. Hilarious. All right, so let's see. I think. We just do this to finish off this little crew here as best we can, and then use the isolation damage to pick off some some baddies. You're not doing anything, so I can just wait on you. Actually, hold on. Maybe if we're if I'm over here, oh, barricade getting in the way. This is also a map where I might. Uh, I might choose to downsize the the barricades because they're in some awkward positions, I feel like. Okay, nothing you can do, and you're gonna survive, but you actually have a decent amount of movement even though you're uh, you're a hair's breadth from coming unwound, as it were. I'm just, as I do this, I'm just imagining how this, uh, how this would feel if they had, uh, if the runners had two additional movement. Cough, cough, APOC 5. Uh, I don't think it would be fun. <laughs> okay, everybody hits level 7. We survive, live to fight another day. Okay, same, same two locations again. Now, there's two ways we could approach healing. Uh, temple, which is perhaps the most expensive way, or uh, or not. So I really, I, I will say, I didn't plan this out intentionally, but having three uh, uh, mine plus pluses means that I can use three workers for another 75 gold here and push back the mist, which is pretty nice. Uh, but... But that would leave no workers for the temple, which right now I'm feeling like is a requirement of our current situation. Can we get by without it? I don't think so. Yeah, very cool. And and also potentially on like night two inside of your uh, inside of your circle before you know it. Um, okay, this I'm I'm not going to bother with. I just need the space. Let's uh let's look at the shop. Do we have like a high level healing potion? Okay, that that was the other option was no healing potion. Uh Ooh, an adamantium sledge at level 2. That's very 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 nice. That's going to replace the spear almost assuredly, but I do think I just need to get the temple. I don't think I can get around it. Yeah, but even with the healing potion, the healing potion like heals 25. It would take a long time, and I can't go in missing action points. So right now this heals 75. Man, I think I need the upgrade too. All right, it hurts, but I, I think it's we need to we need to stabilize things. Uh, need to stabilize our health situation, and then we need. Oh yeah, let me get. We have we have some. Oh, we already claimed our money. Okay, so I think we're gonna go push back the fog, because when don't you push back the fog? And then fifty more gold, which should get us to the point where we can get a. Uh, Get a top tier person. Oh, level five only. I can't afford the roster reroll, but that this is really, this is a very bad roll for us. And with a power staff is doubly bad. Smart will make up for it a little bit, but 
Oh, this is this is worst case scenario. Uh, not getting someone level six hurts. So we have no chess pieces. So we'll probably reroll that just because that was all trash. Kettle home. This kettle home is really nice. Uh, we need more. We need more resilience. It may get more uses, Bear. Uh, it may. Let's see. Oh, that orb is delightful. It's only level one, but 23% isolation is pretty sick. Troll's Blood Amulet, not that interesting. I mean, it's a little interesting. I wish this was a tier two. I said I had to reroll this one. Let's do that. Twenty-eight armor, uh, uh, twenty and fifteen armor. What is? I'm thinking a lot about Cassie's resilience. As much as the magic damage is wasted here, this is a pretty huge bump to Cassie's defenses, and she kind of needs it. This profit robe is profit robe is nice, but I think we grab that, and now we have a tough decision. that I'm going to come back to. Yeah. This helps a lot. Getting her up to 11 block is still not great. The the 4 block that we're losing to traits is pretty uh pretty debilitating. I guess since we're doing the long haul, we're just going to have to go with uh, Jelenka. So Bear, we already had someone who is level seven from the previous night. But you're saying, so you're saying if I had done my level ups first and then went to the inn, I would have had higher people on offer. That's a that's a surprising dynamic that I was not aware of. If you level, wow, that's that's huge. That's a huge difference uh, that I was not aware of. That hurts. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, so I mean, so even if we did that, we don't have the bankroll to, uh, we don't have the bankroll to have, oh, it's runners again. How delightful. Okay, we're going to have to go with that again. And then I think, I think I'm just going to go with a level five person and we're just going to, we're going to have to eat it and and deal with it. But yeah, that's that's good to know for the future. Uh, now, let's look at you and see what you actually want to be when you grow up. Do you have Harvester and Septic Shock? Or excuse me, and the Poison Tree? So maybe we do go... Go for a second build. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. I, I don't think we're gonna do better than 23 Isolation and a bit of Block. I'll leave, I'll leave the bad one here and give the other one to Jelenka. And then I'm probably, I'm probably going poison build again, if I'm being honest. We still don't, we still don't have everyone wearing shirts. Uh, but let's see, we'll put you over here and then I think Cassie and I think you two are, oh, actually that's not really... Huh. Angelica is like more of a specialist, I feel like. So getting someone with some poison is probably good. Now, I really wanted this adamantium sledgehammer. It's basically the only thing we can afford if we go for it. I think it's worth it, though. I think it, it puts Cassie in a much better place. And then Jelenka, I think for now, is probably going to go with that, unless we can get her something something better. But doesn't look like that's uh, in the cards for us. Yeah, we're broke. We are broke. Is the spear better than the power staff, though? Let's, let's see how, how Jelenka levels up. We can always rebuy it. 
Whoa. Hello. We have bully, so let's ignore crit for now. And let's go let's go big damage. We can also pick up Sadist, so we could go like big opportunism here. Obviously we need to get a slightly different set of gear to make that work. Let's pick up the magic damage. We'll we'll roll with mat heavy magic damage. All right. I got to stop rolling. I'm going too deep. Yikes. No love here on uh, on Jelenka all of a sudden. Two big damage bonus upgrades, but uh, not much else. I'm going to go for the XP gain because she's just behind. And then uh, reliability on someone who we're planning to crit a lot with is good. We'll go magic damage. Okay. Don't don't think we uh, don't think that was a great one for us. Third eye is tempting. And we're going to go the sadist bully route. Longer weapons could have also been useful. Don't expect the spear is going to get a lot of a lot of use. But let's see. You have you have 8 movement. So let's let's I think we start Spread to the wind like this, and then something like this. These two both have decent movement. Let's do our level ups and see what the rest of folks are getting in, into. If Cassie is going to be duoing with a poison user, like we could go, we could go bully as our. Uh, I think just having a high crit, so we don't have to enable it. I'm not gonna. We've we've been offered the the cure. I'm gonna go for it. And then I think I think this map favors XP gain pretty heavily, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go deep on that. Don't like taking minus skill range. Relentless here is interesting. Yeah, that'll help us get out of some bad situations. Bad situations created by me, obviously. We don't have an inertia ability. So I don't think that's it. Human Ballista is looking good. Now, Caden. Actually, I didn't even check to see. You do have Volatile. That, that was lucky because I didn't check it. Take magic damage. Big poison is nice. Our accuracy is good enough. I don't think I need to uh, need to go for that. A little bit of crit never hurt anybody. Rewarded for my greed. All right. We are surprisingly a little low on mana, so I think. We're going to pick up Volatile, but I think we pick up Thrifty, and we pick up Volatile. There we go. All right. Oh, one more. One more to go. So movement is an easy pickup for us, but I think long term we're going to want... Uh, we're going to want Angelica to be a little more tanky. I don't know if, if that's worth doing. That's definitely a roll. Take the XP gain. Oh, she had too much XP gain. That was... We'll take the momentum. Big movement points. I'd rather be able to get out than anything else. Uh, don't care for resistance much. Did we already take last cannon on you? We did. Ooh. Wow, we got some we got some nice level ups there to be sure. So I like one by one here. 
And I like inertia here as well. I like inertia a lot. I wish vampire procs in melee range. I don't think we can reliably trigger one by one. So I'm going to go thrifty and then inertia is the one that I want. Yeah, we'll grab that. Okay. That means we're going to be generating a lot of movement with our uh, with our attacks. Now, we're just shy of getting a potion, but it would be one of the crummy potions. So, so now the question is power staff versus spear. I actually think power staff is probably better. On. Also, as a side note, uh, switching characters. Oh, this is really, we're giving up one action point here. Eh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Do I buy a rusty shield? At 23, we're almost in a position where we could buy... Well, we could buy the novice wand level one. I don't love novice wand. I don't love wands, full stop. But it's probably better just to be able to sit back and deal some damage. I don't think the power staff was synergizing. We didn't pick up any uh, any skill range there. So I think I think this is the way we're going to go, except... So, okay. So interestingly, Seasoned Operator now costs these resources. Building materials. And it's cheaper than building a second ballista by a long shot. It's actually, it's it's pretty affordable, all things considered. So maybe we do that, and then... Yeah, we'll call it there. Pool up some, because next turn we're going to have... We're going to need more. We have nothing else coming in. We have runners, because we always have runners. All right, let's see. Let's see what the uh, see what the the torches have for us this time. It's merciful. Oh, guardians! Hello, guardians. All right, we'll do this. Oh, hello. Ah, that's that's new. That's gonna it's gonna take more to extinguish them moving forward now. Okay. Long range hammer is uh is always good for business. So let's see, I think we try to take you out. But well, we need to save four action points for this. All right. Very interesting. So let's see. We have... We have a bit of fall off here, uh, if I'm being honest. Okay, love, love the extra movement. We're back up to 12 movement. Okay, I think that's going to be that's going to be good for us. Oh, I forgot to do I forgot to do the second charge of it. <laughs> uh, I got so used to it being a one and done. Probably shouldn't have left this guardian uh, hanging out, but mistakes were made. Oh. Let's 
certainly seems like the waves have a high concentration of uh of specific enemies. Yeah, wow. I I have not played too terribly much with uh with inertia, but that's uh kind of spectacular. Now, is there another baddie here? Oh, this is like This is torture. The, this little, this black column right here. Yeah, there's another dude here. I can't even see him. <laughs> Unacceptable. Okay, so welcome to... Well, we have this proc, so let's just... Zap some fools, and then... Where are you? B is this. We we probably want to be a little more conservative with our uh, with our beezing because reasons. Okay, I don't yet have I don't yet have the skill range on this character to really uh, do everything that needs to be done here. One, two, one, probably. This runner is coming in from a wonky angle. Yeah, I do think, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if it's just because we're getting all of the runners because the game likes giving us all the runners, but, uh, I am feeling good about my decision to go Ballista. Okay, I don't really care which way this goes, but I really want it to hit the Guardian. Okay. Should have probably used Centipedes there instead. To proc, uh, proc Isolated, but... Get, let's get into the mix here. Not much left to do. I guess we just, uh, I guess we just retreat and fortify. Now down here, we're just uh, lacking targets. I guess as much as we can get Jalenka kills, that's probably our best. Uh, our best bet, we should we should use up all of Jalenka's everything. What are you? An archer? I'm like, I feel like I'm playing by Braille here. I tried to move, but I can't for some reason. Oh, out of actions. Yeah, trying to work around that those pillars, it's impossible to see. Oh, there was a guardian back there. How lovely. I, so, okay, so two, two things here. So first of all, I absolutely love the fact that they, uh, let's see, I, I want to move at least two before I act. Okay. I love the fact that they went with kind of like big, clean, uh, architecture type things. Like I think the game, this, this level looks, uh, quite fantastic. But I, I do think that, yeah, there's there's some readability issues. 
Yeah, there's at least one still hidden in here. One armored duder. Oh, there's still one. <laughs> still one Klar. Okay, let's see. Cassie's gonna take care of the the stabbery. And now who gets who gets the poison? Probably you. Yeah, I said I wanted to save mana, but I'm I'm gonna do the double poison here and uh, just put some work in and then I think just zap you and then zap you. Didn't quite get there on, on that archer, but that's okay. I thought that guardian was already dead. I guess uh I guess I was mistaken. Close, but no cigar. How much do I have to move before I can see around this corner to get this guy? There we go. Unfortunately, this won't ping pong back and forth between them. Uh, why does it look like these two accurseds had different amounts? Oh, okay, it's because the guardian buffed them. Never mind. Wish I knew it was back here, but that's okay. Okay, there's nobody there. I think these are all isolated now, so I'll try and try and rip through them with uh, with Jelenka. Oh, there's a, there's a bat ruining this one. I can see it. I can see its wing. Okay. Jelenka can do the rest of the work here. I think that's fine. I'm not too worried up here either, I don't think. Human Ballista is so good. You will never convince me otherwise. I don't think anybody is trying to convince me otherwise, to be clear. So I'm trying... Put Caden in a terrible position here. I was trying to... Uh, make sure that we're getting as much out of Harvester as possible. can finish this up. Oh, there were four here. I really thought there were only three over here. Have we not gotten any accuracy on Jelenka? Certainly looks that way. Yeah, she's still sitting at minus two accuracy. That's, uh, that's not great. Let's see, you're at plus 14. That's pretty good. Oh, 
hammer hammer dagger is just so satisfying. I feel like the wand should hit harder for having such an awkward uh, range associated with it. 14 knights, a bad tanker. It is the new king of the hill in terms of, uh, of, of length of maps. Okay, we really need to get some of our production buildings going here. Because we haven't upgraded them yet. I believe Lake is is 11 or 12. Uh, yeah, Lakeburg was the previous longest. So let's see. What are we going to do? Okay, we can't push back Fog, which is good for us. So we'll get we'll get the extra cash infusion from having leftover workers, and we can even scrap a few things. I might. This one's only forty. We get back twenty eight. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want to do. I want to do the item level upgrade here. We've invested in armor smiths. So we need to take advantage of them. And then we also, I think I'm going to do... Three mounted ballistas here. And their upgrades. Because those have been working well for us. I probably should have spread them out a bit more, but... But that's okay. Now, given that we've pushed the fog back, I'm tempted to immediately go for the first accommodation upgrade and then wait until tomorrow night to get anything out of it. So I want to test this theory also. So I'm going to pick up the critical here. And then physical damage is hard to say no to. For a hammer wielder. Blink is almost always so good. Runic Gift has huge potential moving forward. Do we have longer? Oh, we have shorter weapons on this character. I should have probably checked that before I decided Hammer was the uh, was the path. Grab that. That was an easy that was an easy pull for sure. All right, and then we're we're going momentum build on uh, Angelica. Now, I'm I am concerned for us. Uh, field study. Do you have field study, Cassie? You don't. I'm excited that they're restarting they're resetting progression. I don't know if you heard that a bad tanker, but uh but yeah, the uh, that's going to be a very interesting, uh, a very interesting new dynamic. So we went we went sadist, thinking we were going to go opportunism. So let's grab that. Now I really need accuracy. All right, we'll take we'll take any accuracy we can get. Getting me into the positive on accuracy is uh, is good for business. Thrifty or longer weapons? I think longer weapons. Okay, now we've done our level ups. So if we go to the inn, the rumor is we should see level a level eight potentially, and level seven. That's still within the. Uh... Oh man, an aggressive short sniper. That's a very strong character. We only need to pick up eight more gold to get them. We that that might be someone we buy. Those woolen pants are pretty solid. Okay, I kind of like the woolen pants. Was that our night reward though? That was. I think hopefully we're gonna get good stuff out of this, so I don't need to. That helm is delightful. Extremely good.
Yeah, so they uh, they mentioned in their blog post, which I will uh, I will be doing a video about later today. At least that's my plan. Uh, they uh, they mentioned that the the next update is going to come with a uh, a meta rework, meta progression rework, and that meta progression rework is going to come with uh, with a reset of progression. So my 1.2 million uh, tainted essence is not going to do me too much good. This male shirt is pretty solid. I think someone will benefit from this. And then the wool, the woolen pants are good, but not great. So I'm going to roll them looking for something a little spicier. Focus ring is pretty spicy. A rusty great axe with plus two multi hits. Oh man. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? It's hard to say no to. All right. So then the question becomes: Let's uh, let's get some gear allocated. So we really like. Oh, you are losing. You are losing a decent amount of block to pick this up. This is just so good for your damage. You can rock that, and then. I'm gonna put I'm gonna give you the male shirt and give you this shirt. Somehow we ended up with no uh no gear left over there. So do we do we wanna go in on Leland? Oh, did we not take the hero capacity upgrade? Oh never mind. So it's not an option anyways. Yeah, so so Tanker, for me, the uh, the meta progression system in its previous form was was not uh, not rewarding, unfortunately. Uh, I I found that it just it locked power kind of unnecessarily behind uh, behind closed doors, and so I wasn't a particularly big fan of it. So I am going to do the accommodation upgrade. We'll wait until tomorrow to pick up the rest, and then. I guess, well, we could do, I think we do a jeweler actually here. And then with the last 25, I don't think the scavenger upgrade is worth much. No one's gonna use this hand, this uh, this rusty ax until tomorrow. Uh, it's hilarious that we've got it. And when we find a hand crossbow, it'll be double hilarious, but, but for now, Health potion is a good investment when you have a little bit of money left over. Even just 30 health here and there can make a big difference for uh, for topping your people up. Now, I'm going to go one person on either side. Jalenka is definitely the weakest link. Caden is strong. Cassie is strong. So I think this is going to be... This is going to be our setup. It's runners again, because it's always runners. Uh, let's see, have I, I'm, I, did I upgrade her all of these? I did. Okay, good. All right, so we'll, we'll hang on to the remainder here. Uh, but I guess let's, uh, Let's rock and or roll, and let's hope that we can extinguish all the flames. The uh, The fact that they have progressed is making me a little nervous. We shall proceed. 